The relationship between video games and pro wrestling dates back to the days of the Commodore 64. And a common bond that these two forms of entertainment share is how music plays such an imperative role. Both of their soundtracks have come a long way from the bleeps, bloops, and bagpipes of yesteryear to the complex arrangements of today's bombastic beats, which led us to question which wrestler's entrance theme music would make epic video game songs. Join me, Kevin Callis, as we find out now by taking a look behind the themes. AEW's resident blowhard Maxwell Jacob Friedman is without question the heel of all heels today. He crosses lines with his curt tongue that no other wrestlers have the balls to do just by being himself. And that's a shoot, Marks. MJF is not a gimmick. MJF is not mid. MJF is MJF 24-7, 365. And in an era when kayfabe is all but dead, that type of commitment deserves to be applauded. Having not even reached his 30s, he is such a master manipulator and the fact that he acts all rich and better than you and me, yet uses a song like this one is some brilliant character work. This generic 8-bit royalty-free piece of music is the douchiest sounding song ever, and we absolutely love it. Sounds like something you'd hear from an early 2000s PC adventure game, or as Trent from The Best Friends once said, this is some straight-up cartoon detective music, which in reality is quite fitting for the salt of the earth. Truth is, this theme has a sick beat and is a complete bop that should without question be a Fortnite emote. The first of three entries on this list, created by former WWE musical mastermind the CFOs, the inspiration for this OP entrance theme for the King of Strong style came from the Japanese soundtracks of video games like The Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy, and Metal Gear Solid. From the moment he made his debut against Sami Zayn at NXT's TakeOver Dallas, the rising sun has been over like Rover. Considering the electric atmosphere that descends upon every arena when this theme begins to play, fans all across the globe eat up up every minute of Shin's rock star entrance. And speaking of rock stars, adding Rick Boogs to this equation has only amped up the overall entrance to like God mode, son. <laughs> And even though the WWE tried to dampen the crowd's love for it with vocals during his heel run, the WWE Universe and a crazy Pat McAfee would not be deterred. An obvious choice, but let's first pour a little out for 205 Live in the WWE Cruiserweight division. So once upon a time, the WWE Network actually worked, and you could really watch cutting-edge original content like Ride Along, Table for Three, and The Edge and Christian Show that totally reeks of awesomeness. Now, there couldn't just be sports entertainment shows on the network. There also needed to be wrestling, and the original NXT and the Cruiserweight Classic took on that role. The inaugural winner of the tournament and former Cruiserweight Champion TJ Jay Perkins took the E by storm, not only for the exciting action he provided inside the squared circle, but also for his retro-inspired entrance. TJP's high-octane ring walk is capped off with this 8-bit music that sounds like it came straight out of a classic video game like Mega Man. Behind the themes, turns out that playing with power was a passion project for the CFOs who had literally wanted to write a video game-style song since they first started playing music. Roman Reigns has truly reached God Mode, son. And his Head of the Table theme song was the final piece in completing his Tribal Chief makeover. Sounding like it's been produced by the inspirational composers of yesteryear, we believe that this stirring and moving masterpiece is perfectly suited for the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, like something you'd hear in a final boss video game battle. Reigns said in an interview with Bleacher Report that there's something about this track which he thinks is a key element in making a great entrance tune. It gives you that ultimate swag when you're walking out, he said. This quote is on point with Reigns' lengthy entrances. He's put together on a run that has been virtually flawless. The time was ripe to make the switch away from the big dog's stale shield music, and we acknowledge this greatness on a different level. Beautifully composed, Riho's entrance theme is a kind of light, fun, anime, come-to-life K-pop song that you'd hear as background music in an arcade game like Ninja Gaiden, while your character is running through the streets of San Francisco, fighting bad guys who are hurling throwing stars at you to stop you from rescuing your long-lost girlfriend. All right, we went off the rails there a little bit, but anywho, since Riho's American debut, the inaugural AEW Women's World Champion is beloved by wrestling fans because of her bubbly personality and ultimate underdog fighting spirit 
character like that is so easy to get behind. She's small, cute, and has a lot of heart, and that's what quickly made her the most over woman in the company. However, don't let her cuteness fool you. The little lady is tough AF, and at basically only 25 years old, she has a long career ahead of her if she chooses to take that path. Neville's WWE theme has been one of the CFO's most interesting creations because of how it fit his otherworldly wrestling style. Its intro had the same vibe as Chris Jericho's Break the Walls Down entrance theme with the countdown leading to the drop. From there, you're taken on an audio odyssey to infinity and beyond, which pretty much simulates playing a galactic video game that rockets you into space, or perhaps you feel like you're riding Space Mountain with all the seeming twists, turns, ups, and downs. And we're talking about riding the Disney roller coaster, not riding the nature boy. The vocals come in and out with the transmission filter as if they're being sent from some control center, and then the shredding guitar solo adds some more life to this track for the man that gravity forgot. This is one of those wrestling themes that fits a specific time and era, which is why when Pac ended his WWE tenure, he needed to reinvent himself and travel far, far away from his bastardized Mighty Mouse character to become the AEW superstar he is today. New Jersey born and New Jersey bred, Joey Janela describes himself as a bad, bad boy. And no, we're not talking about the glorious Stefan kind. Known best for his wraparound shades and willingness to take crazy bumps both inside and outside the ring, Janela is a man thrown back in time. He projects a classic 80s movie villain persona, looks and works like an independent wrestler of a different generation, and certainly doesn't fit any of the modern wrestling stereotypes at all. Now this theme transports me back to something I once heard in a 1980s 80s retro arcade game like Spy Hunter. Of course, it also reminds me of music I also heard when watching a low-budget softcore porn VHS tape that I borrowed from my college buddy Pumpkin. But that's beside the point here. This jammy jam totally gives off a vibe as if Back to the Future and The Terminator had a love child. Low-key, one of the most underrated AEW themes, especially for being one of the first all-elite anthems created by Mikey Ruckus. The words final boss are thrown around quite a lot these days when it comes to wrestlers' entrance themes, and only legends know this because Kenny's Devil's Sky theme is next level. Finally, a fantasy come to life. Everyone knows that Omega is an avid gamer and one of wrestling's biggest nerds, so it makes sense that the inner workings of this song sounds like something you'd hear coming out of your PlayStation or Xbox. Picturing this song playing during a climatic battle with the final boss is very easy, considering the fact that most of Omega's matches have that epic feel to them. And while there are those that favor his current battle cry banger. This is a soundtrack worthy theme that played a significant role in increasing Kenny's stardom in New Japan that led to the best bout machine gaining worldwide popularity. GG Kenny, GG indeed. So what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with our list? Are there any themes that you would add? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time right here on Wrestling Behind the Themes.